Hey folks, it's uh, time for some more quarantine drinking with GDP and the pig. You must know that I am GDP and this is my pig. Tonight's bottle is a surprise. Um, the, the real reason I chose it is because it's from the Veneto and I'm trying to support all our Italian friends during this COVID fiasco time. Um, and I haven't had a bottle from the Veneto yet. We're having burgers tonight, it's Sunday. We don't want to spend uh, too much time drinking. We don't want to drink too late tonight. So an easy bottle of wine, it was what I was looking for. And I found something. I found this Lucchina Valpolicella la Classico from Tedeschi. The, it's a, not an unusual bottle, it's 15 bucks. What is unusual is this is 2010. 2018 is the current release in Valpolicella, as we're all told, is a wine to drink young, fruity, fresh, easy. This is not young. Admittedly, I have a fairly good wine cellar. It controls the temperature well. So this wine has been stored under great conditions. And the cork is a little bit of a composite cork. It has slices of natural cork on the top and bottom with an amalgam in the middle. Perfect seal, perfect cork, looks fantastic. So what about the wine though? The wine, as you might know, Valpolicella is sort of like the lowest classification of wine from this part of the Veneto, which are these hills that come down just to the east of Lake Garda. Here's Lake Garda, and there are these fingers that come down. That's where Valpolicella and Amarone and Ripasso di Valpolicella come from. It's a beautiful part of the part of the country, beautiful part of Italy, absolutely worth visiting. And I love Lake Garda. One of my one of the two greatest places on earth is Lake Garda for me. So to be able to go from Lake Garda to wine country in a short drive is spectacular. Anyway. This is a wine, I'm gonna to have to read a little bit because this is a very typical but complex blend of grapes from the Veneto. These are the, the grapes that have been grown for a long time. Cor, Corvina, Corvinone, what else? Uh, Rondinella, Molinara, Rossignola, Negrara, Dindarella, Dandarandaridam, very Italian. Everything rhymes, everything's very melodic. Um, there's a lot of arguments as to why there's this blend of grapes. The crux of the matter is that historically, one vintage would give great grapes and uh, great Molinara, another vintage would give great, great Corvinone, although Corvinone really has taken over the region to a large extent to, today. Um, but, and it lends complexity. So what's the deal with this? It's eight, eight years past current release, Valpolicella. Well, what I have found is that the nose is kind of reticent. It still has that, that uh, it's actually almost jammy, wild forest fruits and cherry fruit on the nose, fruity little nose. It's a little meaty too. In the mouth, this wine is remarkably fresh and enjoyable. It really is fantastic. For me, I'm not looking for a tremendous amount of fruit in a glass of wine, or rarely I should say. And this wine still retains tons of fruit. It's a little uh, tartar, a little redder in the mouth, a little bit more red currenty. Um, but at the same time, it's gained complexity, which it did not have in the first two or three years of its life. There's a little bit of a dried herb note, um, almost dried, tea. it's more dried tea-like. It's a little minerality, especially on the finish. It's elegant. It still has tannin, which is surprising because Valpolicella is not a very tannic wine. It's got gorgeous, refreshing acidity. It has a little bit of pink peppercorn spice maybe on the nose. A little f more fruitiness now, a little balsamic action going on here. A little bitter melon rind. It is complex. It's not a, it's not a powerful wine. It's not a big wine. It's actually a small, fine, elegant wine. Um, and it's a total surprise to me. It's a little bit of a shocker to say the least. Who knew that you could buy a $15, this is probably 10, might have even been less than 10 in 2012, 2013. But today, the 2018, the 2016, which are available, I haven't seen the 2017 for some reason, $15 a bottle or less. You can buy it by the case, get a 10% discount, drink three bottles this year, three bottles next year, and then forget about them for a couple of years. Again, my storage is important. You gotta have great storage. But this bottle just goes to show a couple of things. First, you do not need to spend a lot of money to enjoy, to get a really good bottle of wine, to enjoy wine. You don't. Number two, wine is much more durable than we've been led to believe. Here we have 10-year-old, 9-year-old Valpolicella that's drinking spectacularly well. So 
while I don't recommend stocking, f filling your cellar with Valpolicella, it's not a bad idea to stick a few bottles in there and see what happens. Go over after great producers. Tedeschi is a great quality conscious producer. And that, my friends, is today's episode of GDP and the Pig. Until next time, drink well.